Hello, so good afternoon everyone. My name is Mary Ann Loma and I will present today uh, the functions of managing a business. So first is, what is business management? So business management is a term related to the management of the overall activities of a business to attain established goals. So this is also a branch of management that specializes in organizing and coordinating all business operations. So next is, um, there are different functions of managing a business. So first one is planning. So this is the basic function of management. Uh, it deals with chalking out a future course of action and deciding in advance the most appropriate course of action for the achievement of predetermined goals. So in planning stage, managers uh, usually establish organizational goals and create a course of action to achieve them. So during the planning phase, management makes strategic decisions to set a dire direction for the organization. So in planning, uh, this includes goal setting for the future by including a detailed layout of how to achieve them. So there are three types of planning. The first one is the strategic planning, which is a long-term planning focused on sustainable growth. So this type of planning eh, is often ca carried out by our an organization stop management uh, and usually creates goals for the entire organization. So this also drafted by upper by the upper, upper management. Uh, in strategic planning, uh, this occur this occurs when the company focuses on its long term objectives of sustainable growth. Right. So um for a manufacturing company, like uh, doing newer markets or entering contracts for a procurement of lithium, like for example, which is the most common element in batteries. So the strategic plans may include setting up ma manufacturing capacities, like in lithium, doing batteries. So this will go with the strategic planning. So next is the tactical planning, which is a medium-term planning. So in tactical planning, uh, this is a short-term planning of an objective that will take a year or less to achieve. So usually less than a year. And also this is uh, drafted by middle management. So, the upper management is not heavily engaged in these plans. Usually, uh, the middle management, which the plans such as sales events, procurement, manufacturing output, and so on. So, this includes in tactical planning. So, the last one is the operational planning, which is a short-term or daily basis planning. So this is drafted by lower management na. So uh and they are the one who taken care of this planning like the operational planning. So low level manage managers na yung nag nag operate or nag plans. So this includes daily targets and other daily goals. So Next is, um, we have different elements also of effective planning. So, in a planning process, can be a long-term, especially for strategic planning, even for short-term planning. So, it is better to follow a framework that can enhance efficiency and planning. So, these are the six uh, elements of effective planning. The first one is the uh, collecting information. So, in collecting information, these steps involves gathering information about company's needs, competitors, market, and economy. Uh, this is also an analysis of strengths and weaknesses 
and weaknesses. So this is also required in uh, collecting information. Next is stating goals and objectives. So after collecting information, you need to state goals and objectives. So a company needs to state what it wants to achieve in the future from the planning. So will it be an increase in sales, expansion to newer markets, or strategic maneuvering to be competitive? So, so you need to state your goals and objectives for the organization. So next is the strategizing. So this element entails charting actions to be taken to achieve the goals. If expansion is needed, then what? which market ba? So will sales can be increased by slashing prices? So that will enter into this element, which is strategizing. So next is the implementation. So in implementation, implementation of the plan so this includes acting upon the strategies established to achieve the stated goals and objectives like for expansion of the company uh, so they will arrive at a given market at, or geographical area so after you collect collect information you, you already state or you already know what is your company's goals and objectives and then you already knew the best that you, you will use, this is the time you will implement that strategy or make it work. So this will go in implementation. So next is in the monitoring. So monitoring of the plan and whether it is proceeding in an appropriate direction needs to be undertaken at regular intervals. So it may also lead to a change in plans if required. So after after this four and then you already implement, uh you, you also need to monitor the uh the plans and the one you implement in the organization. So if ever na uh may kailangan palitan sa plans or uh you need to uh go in different direction you need to um, monitor it so the last one is the evaluation so evaluation helps to avoid the same mistakes in the future so it is based on whether the plan achieves its desired goals and objectives Don yun po mapasok sa evaluation if uh, your plans uh, achieve your uh, desired, go desired goals and objectives. So, the second uh, functions of functions of managing a business is the organizing. So, organi organizing is the process of stab establishing worker relationships that allow workers to work together to achieve their organizational goals. So, in organizing, this includes assembling all resources in one place to provide the best use for each of them. So this increases the efficiency of the organization. So important steps in organizing uh, includes identifying tasks, clubbing similar activities, appointing managers, and also coordinating. So usually, yung organizing... Uh, the purpose of this is to distribute the resources and uh, delegating the task to personnel, to different personnel to achieve the goals established in the planning stage. So usually, managers may need to work with the other departments of the organization like in finance and human resources and to organize the budget and staffing. So dito yung pumapasok sa organizing. So... <clears throat> Right. Next is um, staffing. So staffing is the recruiting and selecting employees for positions within the company or within teams and departments. So uh, staffing uh, includes filling the positions needed in the organization structure by appointing comp competent and quali qualified persons for the jobs. So usually sa staffing, um, HR na yung, uh, dito na pumapasok yung HR. So they are the one who fill the needed positions in the company. 
uh, who are the qualified uh, applicants for that uh, and best suits for that job. So uh, there are also different staffing process like number one, demand power planning. So manpower planning or manpower requirements. So the very first step in staffing is to plan the manpower inventory required by, by a concern in order to match them with the job requirements and demands. So therefore, it involves forecasting and determining the future manpower needs of the concern. So next is the recruitment, selection, and placement. So in recruitment, uh, once the requirements are notified, the concern invites and solicits applications according to the, to the invitations made to the desirable candidates. So in selection, man, this is the screening step of staffing in which the solicited applications are screened out and suitable candidates are appointed as per the requirements. So recruitment, selection, and then next is the placement. So in placement, or uh, orientation and placement. So after you, uh, after the screening, after the screening uh, takes place, the appointed candidates are made familiar to the work units and work environment through the orientation program. So placement takes place by putting right man on the right job. So next is the training and development. So after you recruit, then you, you already select the right person or the right candidates and then placement you need to train to train the candidates and also development so training is a part of incentives given to the workers in order to develop and grow them within the concern so training is generally given according to the nature of activities and scope of expansion in it so along with it, the workers are developed by providing them extra benefits of in-depth knowledge of their functional areas. So yun yung sa training. So in development, uh, this also includes giving them key and important job as a test or examination in order to analyze their performance. So next is the remuneration. So this is a kind of compensation provided monetarily to the employees of employees for their work perform performances. So this is given according to the nature of job. So if ever you're skilled or unskilled, physical man or mental, etc. So the remuneration forms an important monetary incentive for the employees. So next is the performance appraisal or performance evaluation. So this is important in order to keep a track or record of the behavior, um, attitudes, as well as opinions of the workers towards their jobs. So this is regular, uh, a regular assessment um, to evaluate and supervise different work units in a concern. So it is basically concerning to know the development cycle and growth patterns of the employees in a concern. So the last one is the promotions and transfer. So in promotion, it's said to be a non-monetary incentive in which the worker is shifted from a higher job demanding bigger responsibilities as well as shifting the workers and, and transferring them to different work units and branches of the same organization. So Kumbaga sa promotion, di ba, lahat naman gusto ma-promote. So usually in promotions, um, dadagdagan yung trabaho mo. Uh, aside from sahod, syempre matutuwa tayo na uh, once na na-promote tayo, uh, madadagdagan yung sahod. But aside from that, pati trabaho madadagdagan din. So that is part of promotions. And usually once you already uh, promoted, uh, pwede ka nilang i-transfer from different dep department or or other branch of the same, but in the same organization. So that's all my report is all about. So uh, the continuation will be reported by Ms. Arlene Luces.